All right, guys, it's Brandon. I'm back to give you guys a uh, little video tutorial on how to get Nat 2, Night, Nat Tech 2 on your uh, PlayStation 3. A lot of people have been having problems with it, so I'm going to show you guys how to get it. Um, it's fairly simple. Um, I'm going to post a link to get all the information also. Okay, as you can see here, I'm on the cross media bar. And I'm going to go down to settings and show you what mine is now. I'm going to go down to network connections. And now I'm going to go to test my internet connection. And as I'm testing my internet connection, of course it signs me out. And it's checking me. And here we go. And I obtained the IP address successfully. Got my internet connection successfully. It's connecting to the PlayStation Network, and it succeeded. The UPnP most likely won't work, and I'll get it not available. A lot of people have been getting that. There's a, there is a reason for that. And it's going to check my uh, NAT type and see if it's NAT type 2. Um, by the way, my UPnP is enabled, and I am getting full NAT two, type 2. And I do have full NAT type 2 now. Okay, so I'm going to go back. Back out of this. And... My uh, settings for my connection are going to show you right here. Okay. And before I show you these fully, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my computer and show you exactly what to do to set up your router and everything else to get Net Type 2. And the reason also why you want Net Type 2 is so that you don't have any problems with your internet connection on the PlayStation Network and you don't have any lag in game. This prevents you from lagging out and gets you a full solid connection just like plugging straight into the wall without a router. So here we go. I'm going to move back. I'm sorry for that. Alright. Now here as you can see, I'm on g4tv.com, and they actually tell you, I'm going to post a link to this. Um, they, this is where they give you all the ports. Um, I suggest um, using the UDP and um, by itself because it's a close range, and you can put it from a range between um, 3478 to 3658 um, without doing separate port, con port triggers. Um, and if that doesn't work and get you nap type 2, then try the TCP um, aside. And then if that doesn't work, try both of them. If you have any problems, you know, comment me and I'll definitely answer your questions. Um, now from here on, you can follow this Xbox guide that they tell you to follow fully, except you're not going to use the port triggers that they tell you to use. You're going to use your own triggers on your own, um, follow that step by step. You're going to use these port triggers right here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it though. So, while up here, I'm using a Netgear router. If you have any questions with any other router, um, be sure to help you out and find out as much information as I can. Um, what you're going to do up here is you're going to type in 192. Dot, whoa, that's not 192. 192.168.1.1. And it's going to bring it to your router settings. Now, if you haven't changed your password, most likely for Netgear, your password is admin admin. My password is not. And I changed that. Okay. I changed the password, then I changed the username, though. Okay. Now, on the Netgear router, most other routers, too, you're going to go down to the port triggering, port forwarding feature which I've already set up everything. I just happily named my service name as you can see here PSN NAT UDP 1 um, so I did one separate um, and I'm gonna hit edit services so you can see exactly what I did um, I'm gonna go back real fast for, though hit cancel um, up here at the top I select port forwarding down here select myself in uh, that's the name, doesn't really matter. I select UDP because I'm using the UDP protocol. Um, the UDP is 3478 uh, is the starting port. The ending port is going to be 3658. 
And the reason why um, you're not you're gonna do individual ones is because it's pretty group, tightly grouped. Um, it's not a big open range like the TCP one is. So you're okay to do such a far out range. And now, now you're gonna use your server IP as address as 192.168.1.2. Dot 250 for net gear. Um, for let me see. Well, for different routers, you can do. It's going to happen differently. Linksys, I think it would be the same thing. Um, I know for a fact that. Um, let me see. D-Link is not going to be the same. In this article about the um, from the 361 on the G4 site, the Netgear router stuff is wrong. It was a mistake. The guy did not have a Netgear router, so he put it as the same as D-Link. Um, but it is the same as the Linksys, so just copy the Linksys stuff from the link. If you do use that link that I'm posting. And back here, you're just going to hit apply. It's going to apply your settings. And remember the server IP address that you set up over here because the server IP address that you set up, which was 192.168.1.250, is going to be the one that you're going to use for your PS3. That's the, ad that's the address that your PS3 is going to log on to. Now, the reason why you're going to use a farther out IP address is because you don't want anything interrupting with it. And, you know, most likely it's going to start your stuff um, from your house is going to start off at 192.168.1.250. Um, 1.3 and work its way up or 1. actually 1.2 and work its way up um, from here out I'm going to show you the stuff from the PS3 on the connection internet connection it's enabled the IP address as you can see is 192.168.1.250 that's where you're going to set it up as your subnet mask. It's going to stay the same basically. Your default router is 192.168.1.1. Primary DNS is the same as above and secondary is as well. Now to scroll down, you're going to set your MTU is automatic. Proxy server, do not use one. UDP and UPnP is not available even though I do have mine enabled and you're not type is NAT2 because it now knows that. And to set up your connections, you're going to go to internet, wait. You're gonna go to internet connection settings and set it up here. And uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna select wireless or wired, it's up to you, how you're, how you're gonna set it up and enter it manually. Manually, you cannot do it automatically. You must do it manually, and you're going to do it the same way with all the settings I just showed you. As you can see, whoops, it's the automatic. Didn't it cancel? I think it just hit automatic. Yep. You cannot go to easy. You have to go to custom. Your IP address is manual. This is all the stuff you have to go through manually. All right, that's my tutorial comment. I'll help you back afterwards, and I'll post those thread links 